Well, that uh, that went as well as could really be expected. <sighs> okay, hug the wall, hug the wall, gotta hug the wall. The wall is my friend, and I haven't seen it in you know a considerable amount of time, and I have a good deal of affection for it. Uh, not any romantic affection, but certainly I'm closer to it than you know, a normal friend. And, uh, or at least a, you know, normal acquaintance. Dude, I don't know, I mean, I'm not against hugs. I know some Stay people low. are very huggy, even with casual acquaintances, but I tend to reserve them for, you know, people that I, oh, you know, family, uh, and of course this wall, because I'm hugging the shit out of this wall. Okay. I love you all. You are, you are my best friend. Um, you know, you guys can just, I mean, I'll just stay right here. Uh, okay, fine. Whatever. Uh, I mean, I, I know there were a unit and all that, but uh, Jesus balls. Okay. Get on the fucking deck. Get down to the edge. Stick his head out, and then we fucking shoot it. We're at deck. Oh, I go. Pro oh, there's a holy hell, Jesus balls. Um, um. Don't bunch up. Dude, God, you are pushing me out of the way. You are literally getting me... You are putting... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, you know what? You guys just... You you go ahead. You deal with this. This is way beyond my pay grade. I gotta tell you. Uh, you know, I don't even... I mean, I, I object to... I mean, I don't even know what country we're in right now, but I'm pretty sure I object to the war on some standards. Jesus Christ. Uh, all right. Um... Right, so great, yeah. We're, oh, Jesus! God damn it! Right, that tells me. Look, I don't have a scope on this. I can't see anything. Just put a little marker on my HUD or something, because otherwise, I can't do anything about this guy. Oh, oh, you're gonna you're gonna let me play with a missile launcher? Well, okay, then I suppose I can. Uh, oh, Jesus. Oh, God! No! That was... That was not the right button. Okay, there is no, uh... There is no fast crawl. That is good to know. Okay. So. Oh, my God. We're all the way back here. Just... I mean, I'm I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to take out my hostility on you. Oh shit! Grenade! <laughs> I mean, that was that was terrible. That was insensitive. That was treacherous. I mean, that was a very definition of treachery. Um, it, it absolutely will not happen again, I'm sorry. Um, you guys just go ahead, I promise. Uh, I mean, I'll tell you what, if I do it again, you can take away my grenade privileges. I will complete Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what, guys? Shut the fuck up. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, you can't see him. I know. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Staying low. There's no... Where did the RP... Wait. It was the RPG that that guy is carrying. Why the hell do I have to use it? Any day now, guys. Yeah, right. I'm on the deck. Come on. Right, right, right. And then we fucking shoot him because that really needed the emphasis provided by the use of the F word. I'm waiting for you guys to get in position. I am in position. I have been in position for the last 30 seconds while you guys have been dicking around going through the steps again. Any day now, dude. I mean, come on. I can crawl fast. How did you ever get past the obstacle course? Isn't, like, 
crawling a thing that you have to do? Don't you have to do it in like a certain amount of time? You are crawling slower than an infant. Like I have literally seen infants crawl two, three times as fast as that. Oh, oh, and now I'm stuck. Great. So are you gonna? Yeah, great. Just right. Yeah. Fifty meters midway up. Okay, great. All right. Okay. Just give me the rocket launcher. Wait, you what? You what? No, 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 wait, hold on. What? Where did you... How? What? Uh, okay, I was... I mentioned the TARDIS earlier. I think this guy might have a TARDIS strapped to his back. I don't know. Okay, great. Where the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sh shut up. Just... I hate you guys. Uh... Did it? Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh God. Oh God. That's. Oh Jesus. Oh God. We good? We good. Let's go find this patrol. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'll just be playing here, contemplating the dozens, possibly hundreds of civilians that I just contributed to the murder of. No, not contributed. I pretty much directly murdered them with that. Um. Right, and then I got shot, which honestly, karmic balance, I understand, and Misfit, really, you guys, Jer, you guys are just clear. the worst teammates. You really are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Our guys are exposed down there. Okay. Watch your sectors. You know what would be great if we we're going to be shooting people on the street from the rooftop is if we had guns with scopes on them I see and not just movements. reflex Three sights. Level. Okay, great. Yeah, sure. I'll just be over here. Um, I really hope this doesn't land on my guys. Oh, switch prop. Oh! I have a sniper rifle. Oh. Oh. Well, this is... I Wait, we're done? But I didn't... I didn't get to shoot anybody. I mean... Not that I wanted to. Violence is bad and wrong. Uh, oh, oh god. Okay. Um, right. You stand right. Damn it! You. I. God! Uh, you guys just. I mean, fine. I'm. Okay. okay I'm. A, I'm uh, I have no words. I mean, why am I even here? Oh, for. Oh, okay. yeah. Damn it. Oh, wait, I got him. Um, sorry. Ow. Damn it. Oh, 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 god, I'm, I'm sorry. I think I just castrated that guy. Um, I think they're dead, Jim. Oh, wow, we get Doc, Doc Holiday. Okay. Cool, so... Um, actually, I, I, I don't remember I my Western mythology. Oh, now, are these, are these bad guys? These, oh god, they're bad guys. Oh, right, take that, well, ow, damn it, ow! Um, right, okay, following you guys. Da, 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 da. Going back down, right, okay, oh. We'll never make it over. I kind of wonder. I mean, does it actually look like this in all the war movies? You always do this kind of washed-out uh, filter. Movies and games, the Middle East always has this washed-out filter. But it's kind of like um, in Fallout New Vegas. Uh, they have that filter that kind of does the same thing to Vegas. Uh, when in fact, like on a clear day in Lost uh, in Nevada. Nevada, I'm sorry, because that's how the re residents there actually pronounce it, even though it should be pronounced Nevada, but what the hell. Um, <clears throat> but, like, you know, in Nevada, uh, <clears throat> the, uh, you know, the sky, when it's clear out, uh, and the sky is just blue, it's like the bluest sky you will ever see in your entire life. It's actually really pretty. Uh, but then they give it that washed out filter because deserts are supposed to look like that. And I don't really, uh, I mean, 
do deserts in other parts of the world really look like that? I mean, does the Middle East look like... Oh, well, that was a that was a smart way to descend. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the option to do that, so I'm just going to be a retard. All right. Um, no offense to anybody who... Um, you know, I, I try not to use that word. That's one of those words that I grew up using, and then I kind of uh, realized the negative connotations of it. Um, and that it could be considered okay. offensive. Um, <clears throat> so what happens if the PLR you know, it kind of ties in with uh, if any of you guys are bronies, which if you have seen my avatar, you might guess that I am. Uh, the whole Derpy scandal, um, where Derpy came to be this kind of affectionate... Well, it's basically the name of this character, uh, Derpy Hooves, and it was used affectionately. Affectionately, it wasn't like used to indicate any deficiencies of intelligence or anything. Um, but its usual context is kind of to uh, to deride the intelligence of others. So. Okay, you guys handle it. I'm, I'm busy lecturing. Um, you know, but the name Derpy was used to, uh, or the word Derpy is generally used to refer to people uh, or actions that uh, aren't particularly intelligent. And so uh, when they actually named her in one episode, um, you know, uh, actually, damn it, what what are you, damn it. Okay, anyway, they actually named her Derpy Hooves in one episode, or at least Derpy, uh, and it caused a controversy, um, because, you know, people, casual viewers who weren't, you know, familiar with the online fan base and the memes and, you know, the, basically the characterization that, of the fans, or of Derpy that the fans invented pretty much wholesale, uh, thought that, you know, she was being made fun of because she was mentally handicapped, uh, which, you know, wasn't helped by, uh, like her voice actress, um, not realizing she was a female character and voicing her as a uh, male character. Um, and the result was basically that she sounded kind of like she was suffering from a mental disability of some sort. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, there was outrage from parents that thought, hey, this, you know, harmless kid show is making fun of the mentally handicapped and then they basically got rid of Derpy for an entire season, but um, basically the lesson is, you know, just because you don't consider a word to be harmless doesn't mean everybody else has the same context. Uh, not everybody else, you know, thinks the same thing when you say that word. Um, you know, that's one of the, uh, you know, it's just something you have to keep in mind. Um, you know, just because you think a word is harmless uh, doesn't mean that everybody else will. Uh, another good example is in Clerks 2, uh, when Randall tries to take back uh, the term, um, which, uh, the term Porch Monkey, um, because he isn't aware that it has any racist connotations. Um, are you civilians? Yeah, sure. Yeah, but he didn't, he wasn't aware that it, there were any racist connotations to the word, or the phrase, I guess. Uh, I don't even know what you guys are doing. I'm trying to educate my audience, you guys are just bitching about something. Okay, I've got to go over here now. And i got to open this door. I'm, okay, I'm in a laundromat. And it's dark, and I can't see anything, and I'm probably going to die. Follow the goddamn wire. Right, right, following the goddamn wire. Follow the goddamn wire. Okay. I wonder how often soldiers actually have to go through the vents, like... It's a trope pretty much invented by Die Hard. I can't imagine that it really comes up that often. You okay in there? Just another goddamn tremor. Nothing to worry about. Okay, the more you guys say that, the less I believe you. Get that wire cut. Right, cutting the wire. Just... Okay. Shazam! Shazam! Okay, quick time event where I brutally punch a guy to death. Ow. You know, I hit the right button. Why am I losing? Um. Oh, uh, cheat. Oh. Dude, he's out. You won. Congratulations. Wow, I'm a jerk. Right, right. Heavy fire getting up there. Right, right. That's, uh, I, wow, I don't even, do I go, 
I mean, do I have a flashlight somewhere that I could use? Because I can't see anything right now. Okay, there we go. And that's the laundromat. Okay. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. This is terrible. What's going on? Stop shooting our guys. I don't want to. It's dangerous up there. Man, the LMG. Man, the oh god. Look at that. The panels are, are just fall. Oh god. I don't even. I don't. Um. Oh god. The panels are disappearing. I don't have any cover. This is actually far less accurate and most likely less effective than my standard assault rifle. Please die. Ow. Right. You know, actually, I think this is about where I got when I played this the first time. And I could not beat this segment because they really wanted me to get that stupid LMG. And the LMG is actually not the appropriate weapon for this scenario. Um. You know, I know there's supposed to be a strategic advantage of taking the high ground, but when the high ground has, like, zero cover, uh, compared to not taking the high ground, it actually seems more beneficial to just, you know, stick with where you can have, you know, solid objects between you and the bullets that are being aimed at you. Also, it would be really nice if our helicopters were a little bit less, uh, useless. Yeah, right, 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 right. Oh, hi, sorry. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, God, you... Okay, whoever you are, you're a jerk. You are a jerk, and this death was your fault. I hope you realize that, and I hope you're ashamed. Because you should be. You monster. Right, 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 I wonder if they still, like, in World War II and Saving Private Ryan, the medics had, like, some kind of coating over their gun, like, that showed that they weren't intending to actually shoot it unless they really had to, and it was kind of supposed to mark them as a medic and therefore non-combatant. Well, not so much non-combatant, but, you know, uh, it's just generally considered uh, impolite to shoot them before shooting anybody else. Um, then again, well, it's... Weird to think the terrorists would be less observant of the rules of warfare than, you know, Nazis. But I guess, uh... I don't know, I mean... The Nazis had an actual army, the terrorists are just, you know, guerrilla fighters. So, you know, obviously they have to take any advantage they can get, so neutralizing an enemy medic um, would actually be, you know, a smart strategy for them. Okay, I got the gun. I'm going away now. You guys have fun with this. Um, but yeah, you know, neutralizing enemy medics would actually be a beneficial uh, tactic for them. This is just the worst gun. Uh, you know, in a uh, in a war, as opposed to the Germans, where uh, they had an actual army and tanks, and were just as, if not more, in some cases. Uh, technologically advanced as their enemies. 
so they didn't really need to rely on quote unquote dishonorable tactics, you know, aside from mass genocide and generally just being horrible evil people. Uh, yeah, I don't even need that. I'm just. Uh oh. Right, right. Okay, right. Don't, don't rush on my account. Alright, we won! I want to celebrate by blowing up this person's car. Oh sure, it doesn't blow up when I shoot it. Guys, they're falling back, we don't need to keep... I mean, you can just let them reach. Oh, oh god. Oh god, they're over here. Oh god. Oh god. Up on that weapon, suppress the fire. Right, street, suppress the Right, got it. On it. Oh, this is just like that thing on Rambo. Oh. Okay, I take back what I said about pacifism and nonviolence. As long as I get to be on a vehicle with a machine gun, I'm okay. <laughs> oh, fuck. Don't know, fuck. Okay, somebody get in the car. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, never mind. Car is a terrible idea. Let's just go on foot. Um, oh, okay, that seems not good.